you struggling with super messy or untidy handwriting in your bullet journal? We're gonna cover off five super simple tips and tricks to help get you swoon-worthy handwriting. I'm gonna walk you through the steps that I personally take every day to help get my handwriting neater and more legible. For more simple tutorials that will help you with bullet journaling, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified when I post weekly. I'm looking forward to seeing you there. I have always struggled with my own handwriting. I have really big and messy handwriting. And now that I've been bullet journaling for about three years now and blogging for about the same amount of time about bullet journaling and hand lettering and all of these different concepts, I'm pretty confident that my tips will help you too. It's now your turn to give it a go. Let's dive right in. Let's get started with your current handwriting. You're going to take the time now to think about the way that you currently write. Try your writing in different styles. I find personally that when I'm writing with different types of pens, I write bigger and smaller and all over the page. By starting with how you currently write, you can see a before and after as to your process when we're finished doing this. So here you can see I write very diff differently with different types of pens. I would love to see what yours looks like too. We're now gonna go through and practice our basic strokes. They're not difficult. We're gonna be focusing on lines and circles and waves. Just to get started, this is a really simple step in the process and you can keep doing this as many times in your day. Here you can see I'm just using simple lines and then I'm going to make simple circles. Those make up most of our basic letters is lines and circles. I'm then gonna make a couple of waves for things like our M's and W's and N's, and it helps get my hand used to the feeling of waves and stripes and circles. The next thing we're going to practice is our uppercase strokes. These are gonna to tie together those circles, waves, and straight lines that we've just practiced. What I personally like to do is I write out the letter three times. I then go back and circle which ones I like the most. You'll see I made a couple of mistakes on this page and that's totally okay. And also you'll notice that my fountain pen kind of smudged a little bit and that's also okay. But go back and have a look at which style you liked and those are the ones you should try and replicate. Now we're going to practice our lowercase letters. This is gonna help tie together words and sentences. Let's get started with those. Do the same thing again for your lowercase letters. Now tie everything together. Put together the ones that you selected that you really like from the uppercase and the lowercase. Let's head straight into practicing numbers. I always struggle with the number two and I always struggle with the number eight. I draw two little circles and you'll see as we go, there's different ways of doing both. Now let's try some really common words you're gonna find in your bullet journal. Let's tie some of those simple words together into sentences. I'm gonna give you some standard sentences for us to try, like the quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog, and a couple of alternatives to those that are a little bit more fun. We're gonna try every letter of the alphabet, and we're gonna keep practicing until you like the look of what you're seeing. Now I would love 
to know if you've picked up any tips through the, your lifetime of writing that you've used to keep your handwriting nice and neat. What is it that keeps your handwriting nice and neat? Is it practice? I don't know. Tell me in the comments below. I'd love to start a conversation about it. And maybe we can start a whole catalog of really helpful hints and tips around how to make your handwriting neat. All right, now on to my top five tips to keeping your handwriting neat. The first tip is make it a habit. Put it into your bullet journal as a habit tracker and track that you're doing it every single day. Pop that habit tracker in and check that you're doing it every single day. Which brings me to tip number two. Practice every single day. I write my shopping lists with calligraphy and cursive. I do my notes for work with different types of fonts and styles. I just try it in every possible situation I can. Quite often I'll write in my big, scary, messy handwriting, but most of the time I practice, practice, practice. And I'll practice different styles, different types, and I'll just keep being more and more creative with it. Tip number three. This is a really exciting one. Make learning the strokes fun. Do it into doodles, do it into drawings, do it in a variety of different ways every single day that changes up the way that you move your hand. If you're going to be changing the way that you write every day, then you need to practice and your, your hand needs to get used to that. So what an awesome way to change the way that your brain is thinking about it than to make it into a doodle or a drawing or something totally different. Tip number four, and this is my personal favorite, any excuse, buy yourself a special pen to use with your hand lettering lessons. I find that when I use different pens in different styles, my handwriting changes. When I use a ballpoint pen, my handwriting is so messy. When I use a fountain pen, my handwriting is really long. And then when I'm using a gel pen, I find that my handwriting is very small and tight and creative. And when I use a brush pen, obviously my handwriting is in calligraphy. Find a pen that you just like. It can be a biro, it can be a jelly roll pen, it can be anything really that just brings a little bit of joy back into your writing experience. Tip number five. Last tip, try different styles. That is a really exciting piece of the puzzle. Try different styles. Once you've got the basics down, the basics of print down, and you're learning and seeing that your handwriting is improving, add different things to the letters. See what different styles you can make. Are you creating new cursive styles that, you, that really get you excited? Let's keep trying different styles until you find one that suits you. I found that I really like putting an extra little circle on the bottom of my G's. For me, that's really important and I like having it in there. It's a style that I found suited me. So you will find a style that suits you too. Now you know exactly what I do every single day to make sure that I am practicing my handwriting to get it neat and legible. I have made available to you some of our additional hand lettering and handwriting freebies on our website. If you head down to the link below and subscribe, I will send you a link to all of those freebies as well as a couple extra added bonuses as well. If you like this video, please go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe down below and feel free to share it with your friends. I'd love to hear what their hot tips were for handwriting as well.